Not that time. Your camera. This will stand on its own. We'll grab the other wall. Yeah. Wait, wait. I meant to. I meant to. Yeah. That's good. Look at that. Yep. That fast. Yeah, look at that. I put a small one together myself. Did you? Yeah. That went through the back. Yeah. 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 Okay, speakers go in the back, this side goes in. Okay. Let's tape off first and pull over your pants. It's in the place. Wait, nice catch. Can you hold this for a second? Next one up, there's a small red and black wire that connects to these light strips. Okay. And before you like set it down into place, you have to just reach in and grab okay. the connector. It'll be taped on with the masking tape and just plug it in. You kind of see the plug, it's hanging off from this white thing right here. You see it there? Okay. Okay. Got it. Did you? Happy yeah. You happy about it? Absolutely. This M12 is uh, by far the best grill that I've uh, I've built. What's the difference? Uh, compact design. Okay. It's got a really cool lighter weight. Uh, very lightweight. Uh huh. Especially when I put the half battery on it, the 2.0, and uh, it is great about giving me exactly the torque that I want. So it does an incredible job of stopping exactly where it should for the screws that need a very specific torque. So there are heaters on that window side too then? Correct. Oh, okay. Front, yeah, these two are uh, Actually, full spectrum infrared heaters with uh, halogen bulbs in them. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then there's uh, carbon heaters, are what are on the sides. Okay. And on the floor is carbon. So it's like a resistive heater made out of a carbon material that just heats up a little bit, but you can't actually see it. Wow. These three here and the two in the front uh -huh. are the shorter uh, infrared bulbs. Wow. They're halogen, uh -huh. and you can actually see them light up once the heaters are plugged in. And then. There's a traditional stove that has uh, heaters like an oven, uh -huh. just like an oven, 
and they basically they go from the bottom up and then the rocks go in between them oh and that's what actually that provides the most temperature but these provide the most um the infrared waves go through your skin right so with the, the leds right the inside, yeah right so they uh they definitely that's the one that when you when you sit in the sauna and you uh and you sit in front of the infrared you really feel it after about 10 minutes you can actually feel it from the inside like it's in your in your fat cells or in your muscle cells right the, uh, right my friend made one and just out of those bulbs i think oh cool that would be interesting yeah actually make one from scratch that would be very interesting sorry could you hold up the uh, top of this Sorry to ask, I thought I could just hold it with my hand. Let's see where we're going, right about there. Me. Yeah, right there. I just have to get this cord out of the way. There we go. Okay. It's there. There we go. Okay. That looks about right. That'll hold that one in. And then I'll get this corner, and that should hold it tight while I get the other two in. I mean about the torque on it it just stops it doesn't like doesn't you know like normally when you put too much torque on something right. all of a sudden it'll start oh, clicking right that's it. okay you hear that word yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the motor actually stopping because of what my setting is oh really yeah. okay so it's got some sort of ic control on yes it. <laughs> yes absolutely cool yep never heard of that yeah first time i'd ever seen it too but i tell you i'm really impressed by it <laughs> And imagine you're in somebody's house fixing their $10,000 massage chair and you're uh, clicking your drill on the torque ring. It just makes so much noise in somebody's oh, right, house. Right, right. They don't know what's happening. Yeah. Two circuits and a ground. Right. So you've okay. got L1, N1, L2, N2. Okay. And then ground. Ground. L1, okay. Green. And then that goes from this power box back here all the way to the front where the stove is going to be connected on that side. So, before I put the bench on, I've got to unscrew the cover of this gray box here behind me. Okay. And uh, pull these through and then attach them on the inside to some screw terminals. Okay. And that's it for right now. And then once I get the bench in and plug all these plugs in, okay. then we'll get the stove and I have to do some terminals on that side too. It's just a little bit of uh, wiring, not too crazy difficult. Especially if you know there's only five wires and you can kind of see what the labels are on the inside there. So, alright, I'll take it. So, you unscrew this gray cap and uh, feed the wires through. It might be easier to do like kind of like one at a time where you just kind of do one through there and the next screws off. Because this is a new design, you kind of have a choice, but I would prefer to do it this way, where the bench plugs in there, and this one just plugs into the box oh, over uh -huh. here on the bottom. There are okay. extra plugs. So that's the main power plug? Nope, just oh, for the, the, the floor. Heater. That's it. Just that floor heater is okay. all this runs. And we want it to run at a constant, so we plug it into any one of these three outlets over here. On oh, the okay. So those outlets on the bottom are the constants? Yep. On the, uh, the bottom on the left side. The ones on the in the middle and on the right are controlled by the control panel where you can turn them up and down. Whereas this one we want to run full strength all the time. So the two on the right are whatever uh, signaled and the other are constant. The other three are constant. Two are uh, three? These are actually controllable down to 70%. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. from 70, or I think it's maybe 60, 60, 70, 80, 90, no, it's 70, 80, 90, 100%. And you can dial it with, uh, there are a couple of buttons there on the uh, control pad to, to dial them up and down. I'm just trying to remember which, uh, if I remember which direction that side goes in. That's that one there. And she made the transition to tattoo because she didn't know if she could do airbrush in America and make money at it. So, uh, yep. So, uh, see, I think I have 
to put the other side in the first. So close, so close. Very tight. The tricky kind of thing. There we go. Good maneuver, huh? It's like we really, really have a, such a design, how to be like exactly how you trick it. Look perfect at that. standards. Oh yes, the perfect standards. That look is, at that. Amazing. They you know? did such a better job with this sort of thing. Wow, look at that. I'm so Man, impressed. Great. Good. Yeah. And I, then there's a lip on the inside that holds that in place so it doesn't slide out. Oh, cool. So, yeah, it stays right see here. That. See that? No screws necessary. There's a little switch down here if you ever want to turn this heater off. Uh -huh. It's got its own independent switch. If the back of your legs are getting too hot, uh -huh. you can flip that switch off. Oh, really? So it doesn't get, get hot at the bottom? Yeah, if, got if it. it's just like if you're sitting in here and all of a sudden the back of your legs feels like it's way too hot, uh -huh. you turn it off. You just flip it off. Right? So they can do from, from back and it's a little different the heat, heat sources from. Right, back. so these are the short wave, I'm sorry, yeah, short wave. These are the short wave infrared heaters. Uh -huh. These are long wave infrared heaters. Uh, okay. There's two short wave up here too that have the halogen bulbs uh -huh. and another down here, short wave. your floor has short wave as well, which wow. is, uh, the, I'm sorry, long wave as well, no. which is longer infrared waves that pre penetrate deeper into your body, but uh -huh. they're not as good at heating up the room. So okay. they, that's small. why they have full spectrum between these and those. Small, it gives yeah. you the full infrared. Uh -huh. So this up here is both a ozone generator and ionizer. Okay. Then, then. What you want to do is after you use the sauna, turn on the ozone and it will get rid of any smells and it will lower the bacterial and fungal growth in here. Uh, okay. And then while you're using it, you can use ion and it gives you kind of this great, uh, you, you can look up any ions yeah. and see what they, yeah, I am, yeah. or maybe you already know, right? Yeah. But it'll do both and it'll run even when the control panel's off. So. Okay. okay. I've, se I've seen it with my niece and my nephew, my, uh, my sister-in-law is a teacher, was a teacher, now she's doing something else, but still a teacher. And she's very much about letting the kids find their own gender identity, right? They both ended up, her daughter is playing with Barbies and her son is playing in the dirt. <laughs> and, and neither one of the parents pushed that in any way. They let them decide what they wanted to be and everything else, and they, they went exactly the same way that all else. Not saying it has to be that way, but it was yeah. that way with their kids. So two screws at the bottom, take that cover off, and then this will come loose, but it's still hung at the top because okay. there's a little lip up there, so you kind of want to tap it up. Okay. Once you do, it'll come loose of that lip, and then you can take this cover all the way off. Just like that. All right, so now there's a terminal in here. You want to feed the wires up through this. So you take one of these two clips out. You can take it all the way out or you can just loosen it. I yeah. just loosen it. Hopefully you left yourself enough slack with the wires. If not, you can kind of feed them through by pulling the bench back up. And you can feed this wire back out a little bit more. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it like that. Hopefully you can still see it with your camera. And I always like to start uh, with inside you... of the other. Okay. And work my way to There you the go. Uh-huh. In order so, kind yeah. of thing. Yep, absolutely. Pretty sure the gray was the M1. Yep. Okay. Now, I found this on the other job too. They just switched brands of uh, these sauna heaters. Oh. And this bridge here that the terminal is mounted uh -huh. on, it's just flimsy. So oh, I yeah. just press it against the uh -huh. other metal so I can get the screws loose or tight, depending on which one I'm going. I've seen some of those toasts like on dryers. You know, those blocks will toast if you don't get them tight. Absolutely. So important to tighten these down as much as you can. That's, oh God. I've seen pictures from all over the country of people installing these and not tightening those screws down. Uh, it just tears up either here or in the power box. Because there's so much amperage going through it. Well, how many amps does this thing draw usually? Uh, 20... You see the six pulls about 20, yeah, 19, 20 amps. Because the 
it's created in such a way that this stove will not operate at the same time as the other heaters. Oh. The other heaters won't operate at the same time as this stove. It's oh, either or okay. not both. So a lot of times what I tell customers is that um, the reason for that is because otherwise you would need a huge set of wires coming right. out of here. And, um, and if you did that, then you would... Um, so this here heater is for the steam generation, is that correct? Correct. Okay. Or a traditional, even without steam. Oh, it'll traditional. Just, it'll just heat the thing up. And this is where the rocks set in? Uh, correct. He's going to, yeah, rocks go on the top of this one. I might just use my corn flat head for this. It doesn't seem like this Phillips heads are working very well. That's going to be your secret, is grabbing a uh, medium-sized fine uh -huh, flathead about sure. that big. It's just snugly inside those holes and you can tighten these things down properly because the Phillips head just isn't matching. Okay. It. I, this is a, a number one and I've got a number two in there. The number two is too big and the number one won't fit tight. So okay. it's uh, got to be some overseas uh -huh. Phillips head type. All right, and two is next. The hammer technique. Absolutely. It's how to get anything to start working again. <laughs> anything from a computer to a broken cell phone. It's amazing. Hammer strike? <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was at, uh, I was talking to somebody about something. And I'm like, I'm trying to get this term for this part. Oh, yeah, this guitar part I... <laughs> and the guy goes, yeah, that that thing. You know, I'm like, oh, you know, that's the technical word. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 that technical word yeah. for that thing, that stuff. Right, yeah, I've dealt with that before. I have lots of experience with things and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's so great. Now, I went to this music store, and I figured the guy would know what the name of it was, so I was trying to pull it out of his brain, and he goes, oh, ah. that, that thing. You know, I'm oh, like, yeah. Oh, that thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to be a radio DJ, and people would call me. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You that got the voice for it, yeah. In my 20s, that's what I did, is I used to be on the radio. Uh-huh. Uh, but it's not, it, it doesn't pay as much, and that's the reason why I don't Right. It doesn't pay much at all. It's fun. Uh-huh. Definitely a lot of fun for uh -huh. someone to do in your 20s, but uh, not good for a career. But uh, people used to call me all the time, and they're like, hey, what's the name of that song? It goes like, uh, da, 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 da. And I'm like, oh, that's, oh, I know that song. That's every song that was ever written. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's so, it's tough, man. It's so tough. It's so tough. Okay, now it's back to the fun stuff. That's the electrical. electrical's done for the moment. So now... Um, all of this is just trash. That's if you mount one of the mounting stones. Is it 100 or 200? Do you see it? What do you see? Can you it's, see the number? Uh, inside these little rectangles. Do you see the number right there? Here. What's that number in there? Can you see it? Okay, it's like, uh, 100. Yeah. So you have a 100 amp service. Wow. And so what we have to do in order to figure out what the allowable amperage is, we have to make sure that you're not pulling more than 100 amps on the good old house. Uh, 
going to put in a couple of hours. Okay. Knock out this newspaper. Uh, we need a three quarter knockout, which will line up with. Looks like we'll have to maybe have to take this guy out to cut some because it's a little too much. Cut some of it out? Yeah, because you know, yeah, you go this way and uh, oh. see that there's like a barely inch there because so we don't need that much, right? You can go down that way. Yeah. <laughs> Put some elbows on the other side first. I think we can use those elbows on this side. 